All right, trying to knock out some videos, just kind of like answering questions. Um, if you have been on Christian Book, you've seen this Bible, and it's it's kind of deceiving. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. It's kind of deceiving. This is not one that I'd recommend when it comes to an ESV study Bible. This is their uh, Christian Books exclusive edition of the Top Grand Calhide. Now, if you get it for a good price and you're not really – I mean, study Bibles – I, I could see somebody buying this and it would last longer than, you know, something that's fake leather, bond leather, I guess it would last longer. Uh, I gave this one to my wife, so that is not my bookmark, I promise. But it does have two ribbon markers. They Actually, I like these ribbon markers. These got kind of tore up. She does not treat her Bibles like I do. And I beat mine up. She just, she throws hers around, you know. Some people are just like that. But this is actually double satin. Anyways, okay, so I'm getting off track here. A lot of people will go and get this Bible on Christian Book thinking they're getting one that I think even has the same ISBN. I'd have to double check. If that is the case, I'll definitely make another video, and that would be an argument because this one is a paste down. This one's a paste down. It's printed in China. The, the paper uh, is not done as well. This one was defective. Um, I mean, it's just, it has many pages that are folded. So if I was to stretch this paper out, it would, in fact, it does come out on the side here, but, uh, this is not the only time I've seen it and it, it's real, real crinkly. Um, it's just not done good. And I wouldn't say that's crossways fault. I would say that sounds like, and we all appreciate Christian book. You gotta, you gotta remember though, Christian book kind of has a monopoly on this Bible, Christian Bible sales. They're, they have a monopoly on it. They really do. When I buy Bibles, I try to buy them from people like church Bible publishers or um, definitely evangelicalbible.com. Those are like my two places. And I haven't bought from church Bible publishers in a while because there's really, I got so many King James Bibles, guys, and most of them have been trying to give away and stuff like that here in town. But, you know, I'm kind of like digging other translations those after I got came out of King James onlyism, but um, if you see this, this is a, a Christian book exclusive. This is not the same cowhide as you would get from, say, evangelicalbible.com. So I would, I would just, I would, you know what, just trace, just stay away from this one, unless I can't even say unless you don't care, because. Every single one I've seen, I think I've seen about four of these from, four, you know, two that I've had and two from other people. There's always something defective in it. And you don't want something that's defective. My wife, my wife doesn't care. I mean, she just, you know, looks at it for the notes. But I mean, every time I've seen one, it's been defective. But if you go through Crossway, and when Crossway does something, they always do a better job. Uh, and it's said that Crossway's name's on this. But, you know, Crossway, that's their translation the ESV is what they've put together. It's their <clears throat> study Bible. But you can tell that Christian book had the oversight on this. They said, let's take, and the leather's decent, but, okay, okay, it's cheap, guys. Don't get it. Love you guys. I'm just telling you the truth. Uh, if I was to give this a 1 out of 10, I'd give it a negative 2. Just being honest. Love you guys. Till next time. Good day. God bless.